Welcome. In this video I'm going to be removing the mud flaps on my 1997 Land Cruiser. So along with the mud flaps I'm going to also remove the little bits of plastic along the running board. And my goal is to expose the running board so I can clean it and put some protectant on it. And I also will put protection on these. I won't do that in this video, I'm just taking them off. And this is my first time taking them off, so you're really just following along with me. So if I break any little tabs or anything, you'll know not to do that on yours. So I'm using a small ratchet here. I have this handle that's an extension also, and 10 millimeter socket. And it looks like there's 10 millimeter bolts around here. If there's other sizes, I'll let you know what those are too. It's kind of breezy out today, so I may not talk. If it's too breezy, I might just point to things. Okay, so I got that off. So we had these four screws here, one here, and one here. So I was planning on taking this little plastic bit off, but I think I have to take the fender flare off, and I don't want to take that off right now. Looks like to take this off, you just take this screw, this screw out, and then I think this attaches to this with another screw. It looks like there's one in from the top. I do want to remove this little bit, and that is broken, so hopefully I can get a new one or repair it, I don't know. Okay, this has two nuts we have to remove. You see these kind of cutouts here, and I have a short 13 millimeter socket. I'm going to stick that up there. Boy, that is tight. There are some other bolts that are pointing up. So these bolts, well this is really hard to show you. So there's two nuts there. There's the one towards the bottom of the screen and there's one a little higher. And the one towards the bottom is pointing towards the tire and the other is pointing up. And I'm going to try and take off the ones that are pointing up. I think that might be a little easier. Those are also very tight. I'm going to get some penetrating oil on there. Okay, so I put some PP Blaster on there and let it soak for a minute and I couldn't break them loose. I mean, I could keep going, but I don't want to break the bolts off. But it seems like either of those two bolts would take this off the end. So I may let that soak a little bit more, but I'm going to go get this one off now. Okay, so the screw on the right is from the back, and all five, I think it was five, are that size. And this one thus far is shorter on the front. I'll take the other ones out of here and we'll see what size they are. It looks like we have two here. We have one here and one back there. That is also shorter. And the third one's shorter. And that's off now. Okay, so I just noticed there's this 13 millimeter bolt here and a piece of plastic. And you can see where it was attached here. And it was broken, so this has probably been broken a long time. So if this is intact on yours, you'll need to take out that 13 millimeter. Or you could break it, but that's up to you. <laughs> so this bracket's like we have on the back. You see the two bolts here, and there's two holes here. So you can take these out or these. I'm going to see if that's loosened up at all. This is turning now, but I think I just egged out the top. It's probably like a carriage bolt. It doesn't seem to have loosened up at all. Okay, I'm behind this rear passenger door, and I'm gonna try this again. I think I can put a wrench in there and get that nut off. So I'm using this Park Tools CBW1. This is a bicycle brake adjusting wrench. If I bend this down, it looks like I can get in here. Well, and this is a nut. Okay, even better, I found out this is a bolt that goes in through the bottom, so I can turn it from the bottom and just put the wrench in on the top. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. I'll put this back together so I don't lose it. So there's a second hole here, and on the bottom it looks like there should be a screw there. I'll go check the other side. Okay, the other side looks identical. There's a little stud thing here that keeps this from rotating. And there's the inside, and this is kind of stood off. There's a metal plate in here, and that's kind of stood off a little bit. So I don't know why that has that rust ring. Maybe it had bolts on both sides or something, but that's what it looks like now. Okay, so there we have the mud flap and trim pieces off. Took this off, took this. I may have to cut that off if I want to get it off someday. And I got the front one off. So hopefully this helps some people out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.